Hello everybody, my name is Deacon Matt Jakupko. I'm the summer seminarian assigned to Our Lady of Grace Parish and just wanted to put this video out there as a way to say thank you to the entire parish for all the support, the generosity that you've shown to me over this past month. I've been here for one month and I'll be here for one more month. And just want to thank you all for that hospitality and generosity that you've shown to me. You know, when I talk to people, whether it's after Mass or just throughout the day, so many of them will ask me how important it is. They'll ask me what I do during the day, what being a summer deacon looks like, what I do, and then how important that is for future priestly ministry. So what am I doing now that will help my formation in the future? How am I investing now in what I'll be in the future? And I can give a bunch of varied responses, but I thought, you know what, it'd be great just to put it out there to the entire parish, just again to show how grateful I am, to show what I've been doing, what those experiences have been, and how it's helping in my future formation. And I'd say when I look back on this summer, probably the thing that sticks out in my mind the most is just learning more and more how being a deacon is truly being a servant leader. As a deacon, you're supposed to be a servant, somebody who helps serve the priest at Mass, who helps serve the poor, serves those in need around you and even something as little as serving the priests in your own rectory. I've been told that the best way I can be a servant is to fold everybody's laundry. I do this a lot. This summer I've also been formed and learned how important it is to be fully human. That's just a fancy phrase the seminary puts out there, which basically means being a normal person. And one of the ways that I've grown in being a normal person this summer is learning how to cook for myself, how to fin for myself. And Father Clayton and Father Block again have been such great teachers in helping me along that path. And let me tell you what, I've been so grateful to Father Clayton and Father Block because during my time here, they've taught me everything I know about cooking. Another thing I've learned this summer that's so important to my formation as a future priest is how to have a good leisure activity, good hobbies that in the end will really build me up, will give me life, and ultimately make me a better person. Come on. Let's go. And finally, you know, probably the, big, the biggest thing that you do on your summer assignment as a deacon, the biggest perk that you have is you're able to gain so many different experiences that will help you down the road. It's better to learn things now and gain those experiences and to do things well and to make mistakes now so that in the future when you're a priest, you'll feel comfortable and confident. And again, I've been so grateful for all those opportunities that I've had this summer. Out. And that's what it means to be a summer deacon. And I'm so grateful for all those experiences, especially the serious ones that have actually helped me to grow as a deacon and God willing will help me to grow as a future priest. Again, I can't thank this parish enough for all the generosity, support, and hospitality you've shown me over the past month. I'd have to say, though, that this formation, all of this is not possible, both here in the diocese and when I go off to seminary, is not possible without your support through prayers, first and foremost, but also through giving of your treasure, through monetary donations. And in the past, we've had the seminarian fund that normally during the summer we'll make an appeal for. This year, that seminarian fund has been subsumed into the Catholic Ministry Appeals. So all the money that is given to the CMA is also going to help fund the vocations office, help fund the formation for all of the seminarians for the diocese. So with that in mind, I first and foremost want to thank you all for the gratitude that you've shown towards CMA so far this year because of how much it does help all of our seminarians. And I ask you too, if you haven't donated yet or are prayerfully considering donating more, to consider that and just know how much it does help all of our seminarians, how much that money goes into the costs for our formation, for our educational costs, for those pastoral assignments. It's so crucial and so important when we form good and holy priests to give them the best formation possible. So thank you all for that generosity that you've shown me, that you've shown towards all the seminarians. Please prayerfully consider, if you haven't, a donation to CMA for that purpose. And please know how much I'm looking forward to this final month here at Our Lady of Grace, this closing out of the summer, and how great it's already been to be here for the past couple of weeks. Thank you all so much, and God bless you.